All right, y'all, it's your boy Lolo back at it again. Today I'm out here in Denver, and I'm just gonna be chilling throughout the city. So people always have plan Bs, they always have their backup plans, they always have things to, in my opinion, divert their attention from the things that are really most important. Plan B is always seen as a backup plan, right? It's an option that we turn to when plan A doesn't work. I honestly think that plan B is usually based on fear. When we have a backup plan, we tend to focus on what can go wrong plan we tend to rely on it too much and that causes us to miss the valuable experiences uh, of taking risks and pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone for that plan b so there's a little backstory that comes with this video and i think it's really important that you all kind of understand why i'm talking about this now especially in the heat of the macroeconomic climate with how my company was doing with how i'm doing right now looking for another position about a year and a half ago i was studying 16 plus hours a day in PA school, you know, to be a physician assistant. I wasn't always a software engineer. I came from a non-traditional route, right? But after a long discernment, I, I realized that medicine wasn't the track for me. When I initially came into college, one of the things that one of the things that I really wanted to do was software engineering. Uh, I wanted to do comp sci, but but the major was pretty hard to get into, so I chose a safe route, right? I chose medicine because I knew that it was a, a pretty good career, like what your parents always say, doctor, lawyer, things like that. But at the end of the day, I knew it was something that I wasn't really gonna be passionate. But I, 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 I knew in the back of my head that I was just making a safe decision and it wasn't something that I could truly be passionate about. Went through four years, got my degree, and was in PA school. By the time I was starting PA school, I was studying 16 hours a day. And for myself, I started to realize, yo, why am I studying 16 hours a day for something I'm not really passionate about? This is supposed to be the safe plan. And, and I really came to realize that you can still fail while doing the safe plan. Half past 12, I was all alone. I can't be compromised. Fucking on my ass, we ain't apologize. Cause I'm way too young and you always right. Throw it in my face, I'm on another flight. Girl at home, I ain't been living. So for me, during school during my time I noticed a lot of my classmates were either dropping out or they just weren't passionate about it anymore and I realized that that was something that was similar that was happening to me at the end of the day I knew that I always wanted to do YouTube I knew that I always wanted to be in the tech space in the tech world and do something like that in the long run right but I never really chose to dive into it and so for me I think it was a really easy decision because I was realizing you know it wasn't guaranteed for me to always get good grades in PA school. It wasn't guaranteed for me to graduate. It wasn't guaranteed for me to do anything. And at the end of the day, it was all up to me. And, and clearly, you know, I was putting in the effort. I was studying 16 plus hours a day, right? But at the end of it, I realized that if I can still fail at plan B, why don't I just put all of that effort into plan A? I would be more regretful if plan B didn't work out and I never even got an attempt at plan A. I'm not telling you guys to, you know, drop everything that you have, drop everything that you're doing right now to go pursue whatever you want to do. I'm saying that you want to always make sure that you're taking, that you have an educated plan where you really know what you're getting yourself into. And for me, I think that it only makes sense, right, to continue to grind through this moment of, you know, being a software engineer, getting my second job, and and, and I think at the end of the day, I, I would rather do this 100 out of 100 times, maybe even 110 times out of 100 times, over again, uh, making that switch to become a developer. And, and for me, I, I think that's just exactly where my heart aligns. I just don't want to have to live by that fear of, you know what, what if this doesn't work out? If it doesn't work out, then at the end of the day, I'll know that I put in the effort, but it will. Regardless, I'm a, I'm a very firm believer that if you consistently show up, it's going to happen. Be honest. Honest, honest, are you honest? Cause I'm honest.